Joshua chapter 15. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom the wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Malhakrabim, and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karka. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of that coast were at the sea, this shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Bethagla, and passed along by the north of Betharabah, and the border went up to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben. And the border went up toward Deber from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal, that is before the going up to Adummim, which is on the south side of the river, and the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite, the same as Jerusalem, and the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron, and the border was drawn to Baalah, which is kurath And the border compassed from Baalah westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Chisalon, on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baalah, and went out unto Jabneel, and the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai, and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Debir, and the name of Debir before was Kerjath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kerjath Sefer, and taketh it, to him will I give Oxa my daughter to wife. And Othniel the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Oxa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field, and she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land, give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs, and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah toward the coast of Edom southward were Kabzeel, and Eder, and Jagger, and Kina, and Dimina, and Adada, and Kadesh, and Hazer, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Bealoth and Hazer, Hadada, and Kerioth, and Hezron, which is Hazer. Amam, and Shma, and Moladah. And Hazargada, and Heshman, and Beth Palais. And Hazershul, and Beersheba, and Bezothia. Baala, and Um, and Azam. And Eltalad, and Chesel, and Horma. And Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana. And Labaoth, and Shilhim, and Ain, and Rimmon, all the cities are twenty and nine, with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtol, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and Enganim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adulam, Soko, and Azica, and Sherium, and Adetham, and Gedirah, and Gedirothame, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenon, and Hadashah, and Migdalgad, and Dilion, and Mizpah, and Jokthiel, Lachish, and Bozkath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Lamam, and Kithlish, and Gedaroth, Bethdagon, and Nama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nezeb, and Kala, and Oxeb, and Maresha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron, with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay near Ashdod, with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt, and the great sea, and the border thereof. And in the mountains, Shamir, and Jatir, and Soko. And Dana, and Kerjath Zana, which is Debir. 
and Anub, and Eshtemo, and Anim, and Goshen, and Holon, and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages. Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Janum, and Beth Tapa, and Afika, and Humta, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zyre, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Judda, and Jezreel, and Yachdim, and Zenoa. Cain, Gibeah, and Timnah, ten cities with their villages. Halhul, Bethshur, and Gedor. And Maaroth, and Bethanoth, and Eltikon, six cities with their villages. Kurothbal, which is Kurath Yerim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Betharabah, Midden, and Sekakah, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and En Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out, but the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Luke chapter 18 verses 18 through 43. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one, that is, God. Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother. And he said, All these have I kept from my youth up. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet lackest thou one thing, sell all that thou hast, and distribute unto the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, follow me. And when he heard this, he was very sorrowful, for he was very rich. And when Jesus saw that he was very sorrowful, he said, How hardly shall they that of riches enter into the kingdom of God? For it is easier for a camel to go through a needle's eye, than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. And they that heard it said, Who then can be saved? And he said, The things which are impossible with men are possible with God. Then Peter said, Lo, we have left all, and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or parents, or brethren, or wife, or children, for the kingdom of God's sake who shall not receive manifold more in this present time, and in the world to come life everlasting. Then he took unto him the twelve, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be accomplished. For he shall be delivered unto the Gentiles, and shall be mocked, and spitefully entreated, and spit it on. And they shall scourge him, and put him to death, and the third day he shall rise again. And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hid from them, neither knew they the things which were spoken. And it came to pass, that as he was come nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging, and hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. And they told him, that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they which went before rebuked him, that he should hold his peace. But he cried so much the more, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood, and commanded him to be brought unto him, and when he was come near, he asked him, saying, What wilt thou that I shall do unto thee? And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Receive thy sight, thy faith hath saved thee. And immediately he received his sight, and followed him, glorifying God, and all the people, when they saw it, gave praise unto God. Psalms chapter 86. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good, and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like unto thee, O Lord, neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things, thou art God alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord, I will walk in thy truth, unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise Thee, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify Thy name forevermore. 
for great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O God, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me, give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it, and be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast helped in me, and comforted me. Proverbs chapter 13 verses 9 through 10. The light of the righteous rejoiceth, but the lamp of the wicked shall be put out. Only by pride cometh contention, but with the well-advised is wisdom.